Good lovely Friday morning to y'all out there. I'm out here at uh, Cedar Hill State Park and we're going to be building and finish building the antenna build that we started doing all the math like a month ago. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get started. Play that awesome intro video. <laughs> Well, good lovely morning. It is very nice and day outside. I have a Pacific time limit though. This afternoon, it's gonna rain. We got about three hours to build this antenna. I'm just, let's just, just dive on in. Let's go ahead. The things I have on hand today are, woo, that's a bunch of stuff in there. I got the Bianteco wire. This is a beautiful wire, very flexible. This is 20 gauge wire, which I'm gonna be making my antenna out of. I already have all the measurements cut out. I'm doing three sections like I showed in my video prior. A 17 meter, a 20 meter extension to it, and a 40 meter extension to it. And using this wire, look at how just flexible that is. I still can't get over that. I already pre-cut one section. I went ahead and crimped this ring, so we're gonna use this as our starting point. We're going to uh, put that on the tape measure to see if it's right. So let's go ahead and just start doing that. I also picked up the surveying tape measure, which is pretty cool. It's 200 feet long. This way we don't have to keep reusing a 20 foot tape measure to measure out, you know, these uh, 16 or 20 feet sections over and over and over again. So um, this is great. I highly recommend it. Link for it in the description below, uh, along with the wire and everything else we're using today. That's far enough, 64 feet. Randomly chose that number. Now I got the antenna wire hooked on. It's almost perfect right there, starting at the tape measure starting, and we're just gonna walk out the length now. First length we need is 25 feet, nine inches. Oh Lord, Lord. this is such a tangle. Tangle. 22, 26, 27, 25 feet, nine inches. I'm at 27 feet. So I cut this way too long. Crap. Okay, well, better too long than too short. Well, as you can see, the rope I was trying to use is a little too heavy. I was trying to make a way for me to pull up and down the antenna but the weight alone is a little bit too much I want up there, so I'm just gonna have to pull up and down the mast over and over again, which is fine. Here we go. Oops, let's try that again. Today we're going to be using Jason's KM4ACK's antenna kit. Uh, we built it, Jason and I, a couple of streams ago, and I can't wait to get this up and going. I went ahead and added a piece of electrical tape, which I was thinking is causing interference. All right, we're going to walk this out a bit, get it there, oh, sweet. We're going to go ahead and turn on the rig expert. Turn it to ham. Now it's scanning 20, but we're not on 20. Um, we're going to kick it over to 17. We're at a 1.8. I'm gonna have it scan again. 1.9, 1.9, we're consistent. Last time I did this over, I tried at Fairfield State Park. I wasn't getting a consistent reading. Um, I didn't know if it was adapter or this part here was touching. And um, I went ahead and fixed both of those, got a new adapter for this, and it's giving me a consistent reading here. Oh, it's over my shoulder. Well, I was interfering with it. Let's try it again. Uh, it's down to a 1.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down. We're gonna try to get it to the best one-to-one -one we can get. Unfortunately, the trimming end is up there. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna drop it and we'll see what we can do. I went ahead and took about eight inches off. When I measured this out, I was really long by mistake. Took a little more than what I usually do. I usually do an inch or two at a time. So let's go ahead and rerun it in front of the antenna so I don't affect it more than what I usually am. And we're scanning. Oh no, we're too high. Well, that will do it. I don't know how that happened. 
but this cable just fell out. Well, that explains why it's too high. Well, I got another one, so I'll be back in a minute. I bought this down at the Belt and Ham Expo. This is a uh, A, B, and R, but a foot cable. I bought this so I could use it for filter jumpering, and I just had it in the bag. So I went ahead and put it on here, and we're gonna continue on. So always have doubles of everything, triples, quadruples. So as I am scanning there, we can see it. I am hitting this green button to scan again. And it's going ahead and producing a graph of the SWR. As we can see, the tilt is tilting up. That means our wire is too long, or our antenna is too long. And we want to try to get it down where it bounces off the bottom of the graph, and that's going to be the closest we can get to a one. On the other hand, I'm going to go ahead and flip the screen here. If the wire was tilting up and to the left, that means it's too short, and you need to add more antenna. So right now, flip it back. We are on the right side of the graph, so that means we're too long, and that's where we want to be because it's easy to trim instead to add. So we'll scan one more time, and it should be relatively consistent to the thousandth spot, and that's a good reading. Walk this out. Hey, there we go. It's something now. We're at a two. We're at a two now, and it's going up, so I need to trim more off. Just to show you out of curiosity, buddy full 25 foot cable on here to show you the difference in the SWR reading, and I'm up to a 2.3. So there is a difference in your cabling. There's also losses, all we know in cabling. So it will affect it. Yeah, I'm at a 2.3, 2.2. So we are going to, ooh, the wind's picking up. Trim some off and see if we can get it down. I'm gonna use the short one just because it's easier to pick up. All right, and we're back. Drum roll, please. Da -da -da -da. Scanning, scanning, scanning. 1.7, closer. There we go, I removed it under two, three inches, and we are just gonna get in there and cut it. Sweet. 1.3. Well, I'm getting closer. All for 17, this is not even for 20. All right, 1.32. <gasps> I think, oh, that's just by magic, 1.02. Try that again. I was hoping for a 1.1 and then I was gonna fiddle with there, just kind of leave it there, but one more time. 1.06, I'm leaving it. We're calling it done. I'm gonna put the connector end to it and we're gonna start cutting the next section. Next, I am gonna be putting on these nylon disconnectors and I am already stripped the wire from the antenna. And I'm gonna put the male ends on the um, one end and I'm gonna put the female end on the other end. I am gonna to try to do this in such a way that the leading or the preceding wire, it's always male and then the other end's always female. So they will always connect to each other. When you're crimping these, make sure you're not getting the insulation of the wire on the crimp part. I don't think that's going anywhere. Where are you going? You're going nowhere. <laughs> the next one's gonna be a female end to the wire. And pick up your trash, we're in parts. Let's keep this place clean. The next part is some math, and this is gonna be some fun stuff. The, what we should have measured out is 25 feet, nine inches. For every inch short of the 25 foot mark, we're gonna have to add on to my next section, which is gonna be seven feet, wow, just seven feet itself. So I am gonna shoot for the next section should be cut to seven, let's do seven feet, seven inches. So let's go ahead and get some measuring done. Out of the 25 foot, nine inch mark, uh, we came in at 24 feet, six inches. One foot, three inches, we're gonna have to add on to the end of the antenna, which will make it out to be, so we're gonna have to cut an eight foot, 10 inch antenna. 10 feet, nine feet, eight foot, 10 inches. Yes. <laughs> Frank is doing something. And we have the male end off the 17 meters. We have the 20 meter extension, the female end. Push them together. Yes, boom. And then the extension wire. Oh my God, this is working beautifully. To get it in there and running up the antenna pole. 
we're at 3.4. But we are on the correct side of the curve, so we can go ahead and start trimming. Took about eight inches off and I was a little scared, but we're down to a 1.4. Woo, maybe I won't do that again. All right, that time was about an inch and a half, 1.1. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I'm so close. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Another inch. Hopefully I didn't get too greedy. Oh, <laughs> 1.05. It's still on the right side of the curve, so I can trim more if I really wanted to, but I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so the final measurements for the 20 meter extension is seven foot point two inches. So what I'm gonna do is just add an extra foot because we overshot that rung by a little bit to the next part, which is gonna be 32 feet, one inch. So we're just gonna move that up to 33 feet and one inch. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that got hot. Here we are, 33 feet, one inch all the way down to the beginning of the tape measure. We're gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm kinda of getting worried. Uh, my cutout time is noon. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to activate, but we'll see how the weather holds up. But right now, it is still looking pretty beautiful out there. So we'll see if those storm clouds come in. So let me recap, because this is the third time I thought I was recording and I wasn't. We have the 17 extension, terminal end, ringed end, plugged into the antenna base. And that runs to the male and female end. And that female end goes to the 20 meter extension. And that runs to a male end to another female on the 40 meter extension, and that's well in there. I'm just gonna leave that there. And that runs all the way decked 33 feet to the end of the wire, which now I need to move the camera back 33 feet that way because I got 33 more feet of the wire to go and walk. What do we think? What do we think? I'm hoping a 1.7. Turn it on. <laughs> what did I say? 1.7, what are we looking at? Let's scan it one more time to make sure I'm not lying. But the curve, it looks like, I don't think I'm gonna get it too much better than a 1.6 though. I'm gonna trim a little bit and see what happens. So literally, that time, a squig, it's about one inch. We're gonna go ahead and rerun it. Now I'm getting worried because you see that left hand of the graph pointing up is starting to come into focus. So that means we're not gonna be able to trim a lot more off and have it start going more down. I'm gonna go trim another inch. Here we go, another about one inch. Put that in my pocket, because we don't litter. I have a pile down there I need to pick up, but I will. Scanning, 1.6 again. All right, I think that's, this is gonna be happy. I'm not gonna mess with it. Maybe I find another place a little bit more flat where I'm not walking up an incline. That could uh, help it out there. But I'm gonna take 1.6 on 40. Now let's, go back to 20 look at that 1.05 look and it bounces off the bottom oh that's so beautiful then should be 10 <laughs> we're at a 1.06 on 10 now so this should be resonant at on 40 20 and 10 in which we are um 40 is a little high but it's still under two so that's fine and uh, 17 and we were pretty we're right on the money on 17. so that's my antenna i am going to check the weather maybe activate with it we'll see how well it does look at that i know how to do a thing <laughs> say hi how's it going what's your call sign again kilo and the five buster golf uniform you never know, you're coming out to a park, man. 73, QRZ. Kilo India 5, Oscar Victor Alpha. Bravo, India. Oscar Victor Alpha. Kilo India 5, Oscar Victor Alpha. Roger, roger. Uh, Oscar Victor Alpha, Alpha. QSL, QSL, I'm hearing you a good 5 9 in my park. Roger, roger. You're also 5 9 with some QRM, but I got you. 73, have a good day. 73, thanks for the contact and have a good day. QRZ, any station anywhere. Alpha, Alpha 4, full call, please. Uh, 
QSL, QSL, I'm hearing you a 4-5, four, 4-5. Five, four, five. Roger, Roger, I'll give you 5-5, five, five, Frank, 5-5, five, five, Frank, this is an Alpha, Alpha 4 uniform, Charlie. I am the commander, not the officer, hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I am so sorry about that mix-up. I appreciate it, though. Um, you are going to be on video. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> you got me off guard. Thank you much, Frank. Keep up the good work. R love the video. Seventy-three, man. Seven-three, and QRZ. Yes, 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 yes,